Trump's four horsemen of apocalypse are ready with war plans to destroy the Communist Party of China. Steve Bannon drops a bombshell. US President Donald Trump will bring down the Chinese Communist Party. We are not claiming this. It is former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon who is dropping some nasty bombshells on China. In an interview with Fox News, Bannon said, You're seeing an integrated war plan put together to confront first and then take down the Chinese Communist Party to call their bluff. Steve Bannon said that the war plan includes supporting allies like India at the borders of quote-unquote China-occupied Tibet. This is particularly significant in light of the recent military standoff between India and China and the Galwan Valley bloodbath on June 15th. Steve Bannon added that the President's War Council has laid out the four horsemen of the apocalypse against the Chinese Communist Party. The former top executive at the White House identifies them as National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien, FBI Chief Christopher Wray, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and the Attorney General William Barr. Elaborating upon the Trump administration's plans to punish the Chinese Communist Party, Steve Bannon added, those four individuals laid out an integrated and coherent war plan to confront the Chinese Communist Party on technological and information war and economic war, and then, with our allies, start to open up the South China Sea and support our allies in India on the border of Chinese-occupied Tibet. And Steve Bannon further suggested, I would like the Secretary of Treasury to join in there and Treasury to start to drop the hammer. But you have seen a coherent war plan. I think you have just got to get that same level of coherence on the Chinese virus that's here, the CCP virus that has come to the United States. These are the most comprehensive remarks coming from Washington as far as bringing down the Chinese Communist Party is concerned. And he hasn't made such far-reaching remarks for the first time. Earlier this month, Steve Bannon had warned that scientists from Wuhan had defected to the West and that the defectors were in the hands of Western intelligence. The former White House chief strategist has also told the Mail that spies were building a case about how the pandemic was caused by a leak from the infamous Wuhan Institute of Virology and was later covered up by China. The latest remarks made by Steve Bannon, who remains close to the Donald Trump administration, also falls in line with the geostrategic equations that are building up. Trump is engaged in endless tariff and trade wars with China, and the US has also made it a point to confront the Chinese salami slicing tactics in the South China Sea and the Himalayas. Recently, when Mike Pompeo was asked why the Trump administration had reduced the number of troops in Germany, one of its key NATO allies, he had said that if US troops were no longer there, it was because they were being moved to face other places. Pompeo had added that the actions of the Chinese Communist Party meant that there were threats to India and countries such as Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines at the South China Sea. The US military is postured appropriately to meet these challenges of our time. Moreover, even during the Ladakh military standoff between the Indian Army and the Chinese PLA, the US had come to India's rescue by agreeing to supply precision artillery rounds with a range of 40 kilometers, an important figure in high altitude warfare in case of limited theater conflict between India and China. The US has, in fact, raised every single issue of concern from Hong Kong to Uyghur Muslims to Huawei's 5G technology and Chinese belligerents in general. It seems that the US is considering some really brutal measures on China, including tough and painful sanctions. Washington is becoming more and more intensely engaged in a deep power struggle with China. As the Donald Trump administration recognizes that China is the biggest threat to the United States and its leadership, the Trump administration is leaving no stone unturned in bringing down the CCP. Bannon's remarks are merely a declaration of the war that Trump is going to wage on the paper dragon.